Your sign. Okay, guys, I just restarted the game and we didn't have any of the intro. Ugh, we didn't have any of the intro. We did not have any of the usual stuff. Usual stuff. We just had this. You have returned to me, though. You were gone in moments I never left your side. Wow. Did I find, like, the ending of my first try or something? Okay, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. Who, the princess? The princess? Is that you? You won't. A sharp vessel. All right. You're on a path in the woods. You're here to slay. Okay, again. Okay, sign and continue to the level, to the cabin. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess. Within. This time I will do a. So before I was either unquestionably obedient or doing the exact opposite of what I was told, right? Well, I actually ran away one time, but still. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of mix this time, guys. I'm not gonna go through with this, right? Ignore. The interior of the blade. What if we just don't take the blade at all? <clears throat> the door to the basement creaks open. Her voice. Hello? Is hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Ooh, guys! Her voice changes depending on whether or not you bring the knife. So we didn't bring the knife this time and she actually sounds like a princess. She actually sounds like a princess. Don't let it fool you. It's all <coughs> part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Whew. Lie? You know what, let's be like... You know, okay, actually, we were aggressive, we were Confucius, we were confused, and now we are going to be doing the straight up saving. How many times do I have to tell you how dangerous letting her out of here would be before it finally sinks in? Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. So I want to see if she's going to be actually good to me. Like, honest with me. If she, if this entity senses that I'm being entirely honest and I don't even commit a knife, so it's entire honesty, no backstabbing, quite literally. No back lying, no, none of that. Just us and, you know, the heroic hero. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot- Hi! I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. Yeah, she's actually being nice now that I don't have a- I hope it's not just a bluff, but- you know, I have a feeling that this game is trying to teach you something very important about life and philosophy, so I'm gonna just embrace it and go for it. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. Oh. Don't do it. If she gets out of those chains, we're all one step closer to the end. I'll see what I can do. I'm just gonna trust her. Making this more difficult. I'm just gonna trust her straight up. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. She's playing along for now. No, you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. We'll be the judge of that. I'm gonna check upstairs. Maybe the key is still lying around somewhere up there. And if not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free. 
Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You can go back. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. Your shouts and plea, you're here to slay the princess. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Who says I'm supposed to do that? Who are you to tell me what I'm supposed to do? Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you, the clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. We only have one choice, wow. Yeah, save the princess. <sighs> Fine. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. Let's see what happens, yeah? We're just trying to be nice this time. You cut into her flesh. We are embracing our niceness, our pureness this time around. What happens then? The blade is sharp and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. It's crazy how she doesn't even react to that. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. Yeah, exactly. No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. No, you are not in charge here, okay? You want me to do something, then let me do it my way. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the No, 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 no. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. Come on, what? What are you doing? No, don't do that. Don't do that. What? Wow. So we are being manipulated now. Warn her. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? You know you don't have to do this, right? This is not us doing it. Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it! Stop trying to resist me! I'm trying to get you out of here alive! Now, now, I, now I don't like the narrator, narrator at all. I don't like that he just took away the free will. Resist! The blade! Move the blade! As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this is Yes, you. at least she knows it's not us. Okay. Thank goodness, because I was afraid that she would feel I betrayed her. And we don't do that. We don't do that. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? Good. I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. Don't kill us, though. She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? She has a very pretty face now. At least, you know, that's a that's a consolation. Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. It can't just end like this, right? Oh, that's rich coming from you. <laughs> as much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. It's a very pretty face. I love this game style. Each each world we create is a different style, and it's a really cool style. Everything like goes dark, and you die. All right, but hey, we can come back, right? And she's does she remember still? You're on a path. In, you're here. A warning. She will love. If only. Excuse. Forget he said anything. But he is a villain. He made our beloved brutally take our life last time. He is trying to keep us apart, but he won't be able to withstand the power of. Oh yeah, our this love. is true. It wasn't the princess who. Well, yeah, she killed us, but she wouldn't have killed us if the narrator didn't try to do that stupid thing and force us to try to kill her. So it's not our fault, right? It's not our fault, is it? Last time. What are you talking about? Yeah, again, he's denying it. Every second word, every second reincarnation, the narrator denies it happening the first time. I think he just likes to hear the sound of his own voice. Let's try to ignore him. I do, but I also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. The narrator, I don't like you right now. You really messed up the first time, and I'm gonna not let you do it again. The interior oh, of wow. the cabin is clean and elegant. Its stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries. A prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade on okay, so, its edge. So each time you choose violence, everything gets destroyed. Each time you choose the good, everything gets slowly built up. You know, I find that super, super interesting. I think it's really cool. I think it's really nice. And the narrator still doesn't see the mirror, which is interesting. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Enter the basement. Approach the mirror. Enter the basement. Okay, just ignore the mirror. Just enter. Let's do this clean. Nice and clean. The what you guys think? The basement creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. The narrator is trying to really make it seem like... Really trying to make us believe that we should slay her, obviously. And even when the environment is nice, he's trying to twist it in a way. So that we think we are doing the right thing by slaying her. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Okay, she's nice again. Her voice. Yeah. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I think we're in love. Okay, I'm with you that we should be doing whatever we can to save her, but saying we're in love is a bit much, don't you think? We don't even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this fawning. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. There she is. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. 
There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. You know she can't hear you, right? <laughs> I was wondering, yeah, but can she hear us now? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. So she does remember. Did you hear that? She said we're dashing. What does dashing even mean? I have to look up that English word. And she called us a hero. It's something heroic and good, right? I think. Hopefully. Yeah. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Waiting for you to come back. You've been here before, haven't you? That's right, villain. And you killed us. Exactly. The narrator killed us. Well, she killed us. Yeah, because of the narrator. Only because he made us try and yeah. kill her. It was right. self-defense. Our beloved's hands yes. remain unstained by right. cruelty. Yes, right, correct. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but... What's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. Yeah, I do try this time. If you don't interrupt me again... We damned a whole world. But everything reset. Nothing resets. You're just somewhere else. You can't keep hopping between worlds forever. Especially not without leaving a trail of incomprehensible devastation behind you. <sighs> this is horrible. Horrible for you, maybe. But we've been given another opportunity to sweep <laughs> her off her feet and treat her like the lady she is. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her. We never saw a world end, and now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. No, you are distracting us, actually. Might I add that important detail? I didn't bring a knife. Do I have to cut, cut you out again? What happened after I died? I have to ask. Did you end the world after a good picture? I'm sorry about what happened last time. Diet who sent me. Yeah, this is, this is the best. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. If another version of me was pushed to such drastic action, it was for good reason. No. That's okay. You were just doing your best. And that's all that matters. She took that in stride. To a surprising extent. An almost unsettling extent, actually. That's because she's perfect. Do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do? Huh. Good. Good point. Good point. She doesn't. There's no one else like me. <laughs> There's no one else like you because you're so special. I think he's right. Because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. Yeah, exactly. I have to ask, did you end the world after you came back there? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? Isn't that just like our darling princess? She wants to make us happy. My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. Are you listening to her? That's a confession. People, are, some people are a plague, but oh, you don't have to generalize that much. I have no feeling one way or another. The princess's eyes quiver as she waits for your response. It's such a cute art style. I didn't end the world? I didn't end the world. She's clearly just saying what she thinks you want to hear. Or she's innocent. How could a beauty like her be capable of ending the world? It's not rational. What happened after I died? You died, and now we're talking. You came last time. I didn't bring a knife. You came here last time. I'm sorry. Didn't you want me to? Well, I guess it was good that we reset. Did 
we? We warned her of the cruel forces seizing our body. That's practically telling her to kill us. That's true. She is our beloved, and she made the choice to free us of our misery, to show us mercy and make the best decision for everyone. Okay, that's a good way of putting it. She made the best decision for her. Don't be so quick to assign kindness. You're just opening yourself up to manipulation. I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. We won't be laying a finger on her perfect wrists. And indeed, we won't even have to. Do you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. I hope. No, she's a prisoner here. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? No, I don't think so. She didn't care last time. Why should she care this time? That's our stoic, smiling angel. No, you're right. It's extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. So go ahead. Rescue the princess, no, actually. I can't let you do that. Again, you stop doing that. Towards the princess, I'll... you what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? I would if you had a weapon. Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain titanic depths, and if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. Yay! Now we have someone who can fight the narrator. Just like we had the, the cheated, right? At one point, if you guys remember that. And he could suddenly just do actions without having to have us choose, which is really nice. So now we have, so whichever force, okay, <sighs> here is what I see so far in this game. Whatever voice we reinforce in our head, it becomes stronger and overrides opposing voices. So we have to keep doing the thing we think is right and that's going to become stronger. Okay, that's great. You wouldn't. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> you approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. That shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. It did work, nice. We're doomed. I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. I told you, there's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. I'm free, and you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. Yay. Good stuff. Yeah, this is the good ending, guys. Let's Only go. you had a weapon. One slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. Why are you so obsessed with killing it? Maybe it's you who needs to die because you're the one who thinks that they need to die. So you're the one who brings violence into the question. If it wasn't for you, there would be no violence at all. Isn't that something to think Luckily about? Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on <laughs> we us? We have the power of friendship. Nothing can stop us. What do we do now? What do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world? Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? Exactly. You're so gullible. Is the only thing you've ever doubted the actual truth? I think I want to leave. And I think... The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection, and then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? I want you to tell me what you want. There was something you want. Do you want to end the world? I just want to leave. You can figure out. If you want to leave, then, then let's leave. I want you to tell me what you want. I just want to make you happy. Why the change of music? She can't just want to make us happy. It makes sense to me. That's all I want for her, so of course she'd want the same for us.
What would make you happy? I just want to make you happy. Is she broken? What's going on? Huh. What's going on is she's lying to you. Only she isn't a good liar. Are you starting to trust me now? Kamis, if you want to leave, then let's leave. That sounds perfect. Oh, phew. She's back to normal. Okay, we stopped that. Whatever that was. Normal? What are you talking about? Our angel has always been like this. Absolutely flawless. The princess takes your hand, the last hopes of the entire world slipping through your fingers as they intertwine with hers. We have each other. We don't need the world for our happy ending. I like to think that you do, actually. Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made and this is happening. You don't have to mope about it. I will mope about it, because moping is the only recourse you love-blind fools have left me with. You and the princess walk up the stairs hand in hand. Ugh, look at the way she's smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. And what happens after we walk up the stairs? Let's see. Oh, isn't that interesting? The door slams in your face and the lock clicks. That's a familiar move. Right. Did I do that last time? Then you should know that you won't be able to leave. Oh no! Did someone lock us in here? That's not fair! We're supposed to leave now. Oh, I thought we already left and this is behind us. She's right. It isn't fair. But the unfairnesses of the world are no match for the strength of true love. Enough with this true love nonsense, you just met her! Of course you wouldn't understand. Our passions run deeper than anything you have ever known. Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. I'm just along for the ride at this point. <laughs> I think I've got this. Okay, yeah, you've got this. You place your hand on the door, and the lock clicks, and the door creaks open. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Ha! I knew it. Your words are no match for the pure strength of our hearts, bound together as one. You and the princess make your way upstairs, and the blade. That's right, there's still a chance for you to do the right thing. Take the blade from the table and slay her before it's too late. You are not doing that. You're enjoying this, aren't you? You're taking every opportunity you can to draw out the end of the world and make me suffer. I hate you. That's the way out. We're going to leave together, just like you wanted. Yes, I suppose you are going to do that, aren't you? You cross the room, opening the door to the cabin. Did we find the perfect ending or something? And then you step outside. Romantic haze, your love will set you free. A happy ending at last. We did it! What should we do now? Where did everything go? Where did he go? Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring deep into our beloved's eyes. I'm cold. Is being happy supposed to be so cold? She's cold. Quick, our feathers. Plot them all and weave her a coat worthy of a princess. Oh. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? So we're not supposed to do that, or we are, but the game won't let us finish what we started, perhaps. And is that a mirror? Why is it here? But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Yes, I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt. It's not the end, there's a to be best. It's not the end. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. That 
kept in mind. I have no idea what I'm doing, technically. She'll be there waiting for us. I just know it. The bloat? You've grown. The long quiet. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. So we just found another ending. Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. What I am is different from what I was. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. So we are growing with more experiences and more understanding and more psychology. This is a game of psychology, I think. You will have your rest in due time, and I am sorry for the burdens I place on you. Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now, inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. The vessels are shaped by memories of you, but their impulses are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them, you are a gate to something more. And any hurt you've caused them is understood as a fair price for freedom. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. They are not me. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. I'm sorry, words are difficult for me. They never fully weave what I wish to say. If you do not like my answers, 
then you need not ask me questions. The vessels you choose to bring me carry far more meaning than anything words could say in the spaces between. Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers, and every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. You're on a path in the woods. Okay. Okay. So this time we have done a nice and clean idea. We had a we had a straight path to follow. We knew what we were doing. Uh, we saved the princess, and now she became a loving vessel. Okay, I understand. Well, let's see what else we can make. So how we interact with the entity, the princess, is what she becomes and how she interacts with us in return. Just like real life, what you bring and how you present yourself is going to come back. And people will look at you as the mirror. More like you, or like, more like everyone around you is the mirror and everyone you talk to, you see yourself in it because they talk to you as you are. Generally, each time I do an ending, I feel like I gain some new knowledge. Really cool, I like it. Thank you guys for watching, and I, will sh and I shall see you in the next chapter, next video. If the next video you will see from me is the next princess game, then you see the chapter. Thank you again for watching, and bye bye.